Hello guys, Matthew here from UChat. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to apply for the template message if you are using Cloud API, okay? So first of all, let's go why you need the template message. So I think first of all is WhatsApp is a product of Meta, right? So Meta have, well, all Meta products have this 24 hour rule, okay? So if you want, to reach the user who haven't engaged with your bot out after 24 hours, you will need extra special message. Okay. In the WhatsApp that is called WhatsApp template message. So that's the first reason. Okay. And another reason is I have a lot of, um, support ticket is like, um, for example, they put a button with the link, but when they when they check the WhatsApp message, it's actually showing like this. Okay. It's showing the link is in the content is not show as a button. So we got the support ticket. Okay. Is there any something bugs? And actually the answer is no. Okay. So in WhatsApp channel, if you want to send, um, the button that links to the external URL, then you need to use the template message. Okay. And we just showing that, um, the button, the link at the content, just to make sure that it's compatible with, you know, all the other omnichannel uh, message elements. Okay. So if you want to actually link to exter external URL, you need a template message. Okay. And also if you want to trigger a phone call and also you need the template message. Okay. And if you want to, you know, um, to redirect to a dynamic buttons so that the URL part of the URL is dynamic changing. Also, you need a template message. Okay. Um, so in today's video, and I will show you how to, um, get step by step how to apply template message in cloud API. Okay. We have the tutorials, how to do that using 360 dialog, but this is video. This video is only for the cloud API. Okay. So now let's go to the dashboard. And basically if you are using cloud API, you will have access to this WAPA. Okay. WhatsApp business messenger. Okay. WhatsApp uh, business manager. So over here, you can click into this messenger templates. Okay. And here you will see a few of the sample message you can use. And when you create a new template message, you just create the new templates. Like what I'm doing over here. And first of all, there are three categories. Okay. They used to have seven, eight or nine, but currently it's only three. Okay. They make things easier. You can, uh, you can select any of them. Usually I select marketing. Okay. And here, this message type, I will say raise pay checkout. Okay. Something like that. You can name it and you can select the language you want. I will select English over here and then you can click continue. Okay. Here. The template message is kind of like, uh, the website. Okay. You have a header, you have the body, you have a footer, and then you have the options to use the buttons. Okay. These buttons can be quick reply and it can be call to action. There are two types of call to actions. Okay. Website or phone call, but you can use, you can only use one of them. Okay. So there are, uh, this is our rules you need to follow. So in the headers, you can actually use a uh, noun or you can use something, a uh, text. Okay. Or you can use the media. You can put the image, you can put the video, you can put the documents. And then this part is you can overview, you can preview what it looks like. Okay. So in my case, I will just keep it simple. I just use none and I will have a body part and let me copy this. So basically this, I will just change this to razor pay because I'm going to create, um, a template that for the razor pay checkout. Okay. 
and uh, yeah so and here I put a footer over here it will be something like this build a native smooth checkout experience with uchat.au okay now here you can select call to action okay as I said you can only select one of them okay it's either call the phone number or visit website okay so I will use visit website and here I will say check out with razor pay razor pay okay so it makes sense okay here is a tricky part is there are two types of the URL okay one is a static basically it point to a fixed URL address another is a dynamic okay if you click this drop down you will see there is a dynamic buttons of here so the dynamic only have one variables you can use and that variable is at the end of the URL okay so uh, I will use this and in the bot, I will process the data and add another variable at the end of this URL. Okay. So basically, that is how you can apply for the templates. You can either use static. Okay. It always point to, for example, your official website, or you can uh, using a dynamic. You do not need to add these variables at the end of URL. Okay. Um, previously in my training tutorials, um, I'm using 360 dialogue. Um, in that platform, you need to add actually the variable at the end of URL. And also you need to provide the sample data, uh, to submit for the review. But for the cloud API, this is not the case. Okay. You just keep it, you know, uh, part of your URL, usually the front end of the URL at this website URL. Okay, and then you can just uh, using the uh, variable in the flow builder in our flow builder. Okay, so this is uh, all the information. And here is how you can preview over here. Okay. And when you uh, when it's ready, you can submit and to just want to check um, if you choose not to submit a complete language now, it will not be saved and you will lose the content. So I just uh, submit the English. You can have multiple languages. And um, I think the point is here is for every language, you need to submit the complete information. Okay. Otherwise, um, what you um, submit is not going to save it. So I will confirm. As you can see, this message template submitted. Okay. And I can click done. Uh, this reader pay uh, checkout. Here you can see the status. Okay. Now it's pending review. Um, depends, depending on what are the templates you are applying for, usually this is very fast. Uh, maybe you refresh the page, it will approve. But uh, that is actually, you know, as you can see, I just refresh the page. And this is already approved. So um, usually this time varies. Okay, if it's a simple uh, template, I think the AI they are automatically approving. Uh, if you have some sensitive information, it will take some time. Okay. So after it got approved, how you can use is, uh, for example, I'm going to I'm going to my um, account, and I can go to content. I can go to messenger templates. Okay, uh, it asks me to, I can go to content, go to messenger templates, you need to click this sync WhatsApp template message. As you can see, this reason pay checkout is already in our system. Okay. And then you can in the flow, you can actually, um, you can actually select to send this message type. So right click send message and because i'm using omi channel okay so if you are using omi channel the whatsapp template message is in others and here whatsapp message templates and then you can click edit here in the drop down you will find this is the razor pay checkout okay and here this is the variable that is 
at the end of the URL. Okay, so if you are using static, you uh, static uh, website URL, you will not have this option, and it will just send directly this message to your customers. Okay, so basically that is the video today that um, you just learned how to apply for the WhatsApp Cloud API and why sometimes it's showing up the links uh, directly in the message, not as the buttons, okay? Because in order to use buttons, you need to using the template message, okay? So that's for the video today, and see you guys next time. Bye.